Now, uh, we have this general formula of expected value, expected values of g x is nothing but uh, summation of uh, uh, summation of k, uh, g of x k, p x of x k, whenever x is discrete, whenever x is discrete and integration of x, f x x, d x, whenever x is continuous, continuous. Now, um, oh then sorry this is this will be g x minus minus to plus minus because expected value of g x we are finding. So, with respect to uh, this x only we are finding. So, that is why it will be integration minus. So, now uh, what is the advantage of knowing this distribution uh, expected values of g x? For example, suppose uh, we find we now we want to find the g x is equal to x to the power r where r is equal to it may be 1 to anything. So, some uh, not anything it is not the positive integers we are interested to know the positive integer then what will be the expected values of g x. So, by definition it is nothing but so basically it is nothing but expected values of x to the power r. So, this is expected value of g x is nothing but this is summation of g of x k probability that x equal to x k over k and this is nothing but minus infinity to plus infinity uh, x g of x f x x d x by definition. So, whenever it is x is discrete and whenever x is continuous. So, then what will be the uh, uh, if we want to put x g x equal to x to the power r then the what will be the final formula then this will be nothing but k x k to the power r p x of x k whenever x is discrete whenever x k x is discrete and then this is nothing but minus infinity to plus infinity g x is nothing but x to the power k x to the power r x to the power r f x x d x whenever x is continuous. So, uh, now this is known as expected value x to the power r it is known as moments or rth order moments. So, the rth order moments. So, basically we could uh, define rth order moments directly with this formula. So, here actually in this slide you can see that this rth order moment it a mean and the moment. So, here actually it is nth order moment of a random variable x is defined by expected value of x to the power n x k to the power n p x of x k whenever x is decrease discrete and minus min plus min x to the power n f x x d x whenever x is continuous. Now, uh, why we uh, I found uh, it is better way to represent uh, by g x function because uh, next we have to another definition of a variance, but for getting this variance we need not to worry about because uh, ok. So, this is r r order moments. So, we will discuss some of the r r order moments also uh, some of the numerical example. Now, uh, this moments it is called a raw moments there is a another moment it is called the central moment. So, uh, first we just define a moments around a point. are the order moment point A. So, A is a suppose a real number are the order moment around a point A. So, this is defined by is defined by the are the order moment around a point A is defined by expected values of x minus a whole to the power r. So, how we can uh, what will be the formula? Because if you take g x is equal to x to the power a whole to the power r, we know the general definition of g x. So, general definition of g x is here expected value of g x is nothing but summation k g x k p x of x k. So, this is nothing but summation of k. So, g x of x k will be x k minus a whole to the power r p x of x k whenever x is discrete discrete 
Now, whenever it is a continuous, continuous case it is given here integration minus infinity plus infinity g x f x x d x. So, then this g x is for this case g x is x minus a whole to the power r this is minus infinity to plus infinity x minus a whole to the power r f x x d x whenever x is continuous, continuous. So, this is a array the order moment where r is where r is nothing but 1 to like this. So, for example, r is equal to 1 this is first order moment. So, this will be you can show that it will be 0. So, later we will check that. Now, uh, then uh, this is why it is important. So, whenever if you take a is equal to 0, then we say this is raw moments. The rth order the rth order raw moments we say that array the order raw moments. So, by we define each raw moment the array the order raw moment is defined by as uh, 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 is denoted by is denoted by. So, whenever it is raw moment we denoted by mu r dash and defined by and defined by mu r dash equal to expected values of x to the power r because whenever a you are putting a is equal to 0 it is nothing but x to the power r. This is equal to now we will put a is equal to 0 here then we will get the formula. So, that formula already we have written here this formula. So, that is why this is the general the array the order moment around a point a belongs to r this is the general moments around a point. Whenever you are putting a is equal to 0, then you will you will find array the order raw moment x to the power r by definition. So, this is nothing but summation of k a is 0 x k to the power r p x of x k whenever x is discrete and this is nothing but minus infinity to plus infinity x to the power r f x x d x whenever x is continuous. So, this is called the so whenever for r is equal to 1 to like this. So, in particular cases we will discuss that and if if you take if a if you take nothing but mu 1 dash nothing but the. So, what is mu 1 dash let us find out mu 1 dash. So, for r is equal to 1 for r is equal to 1 you will find mu 1 dash this is nothing but expected values of x. So, that we told that al already earlier why we denoted mu 1 dash because it is a raw moment and first order moment only that mu x dash actually for a because it, it is random variable x. So, so here expected values of a random variable x so mu x dash also you can write. So, expected so this is nothing but this mean m x. So, this is by definition so whenever you are putting r is equal to 1 so this is nothing but summation of k x k p x of x k we found this for that example for uh, for whenever x is discrete and this is nothing but a minus infinity to plus infinity f x f x x d x whenever x is continuous. So, what we found that this uh, this is whenever r is equal to 1 it is nothing but the mu 1 dash this is nothing but a mean. Now, if a is equal to if you take mu 1 dash that is nothing but this m x suppose. So, then that means in this general formula it is a array the order moment around a point a here we are taking a is equal to the mean of this random variable. So, then what will be the uh, then 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 we we found the if we the array the order raw moment we found whenever a is zero whenever we we find a is equal to the mean we the the array order central moment moment is denoted by 
mu r. So, mu r dash we denoted r dot r raw moments and here mu r we denote r dot r central moment. This is nothing but expected values of xr uh, expect, expect, expected values of x minus this mu 1 dash or mx we can say whole square or let us write a similar because mx sometimes we are writing mu 1 dash whole square sorry not whole square whole to the power r because it is rth order. So, by definition this is for whenever we put a here uh, mu 1 dash then your by we will get the definition this is nothing but x summation of we will find summation of k x k minus mu 1 dash whole to the power r p x of x k for whenever x is discrete and this is we will find minus minus 2 plus infinity x minus mu 1 dash whole square f x x d x whenever x is continuous. So, basically why we wrote all this definition. So, just we have to remember this is the array order moment around a point. Then if you put this a is equal to 0, you will get the formula for array order moment raw moments and whenever r is 1, then you will find the formula of mean and then if you a is equal to mu 1 dash, then you will find array order central moment. So, central moment whenever if you put r is equal to 1, then what is mu 1? Mu 1 is nothing but expected values of x minus mu 1 dash whole to the power 1. So, expected value we can show that. So, some of the uh, result we required will will show it. So, it is it will be expected values of x minus expected values of mu 1 dash. Now, mu 1 dash is a constant. So, it is nothing but expected value of x is a it, it is nothing but mu 1 dash and so mu 1 dash is a constant. So, expected values of a constant is constant. So, that will again show it. So, this is nothing but is equal to 0. So, now whenever r is equal to 2 then what is mu 2? The second order central moment. This is nothing but x minus mu 2 dash whole square. So, this is uh, this is known as it is called a this is sigma square x this is some kind of notation it is called a variance of a variance of a random variable random variable. So, we we already have shown uh, two uh, data or two example of a random discrete random variable one random variable x taking the value range of x is minus 1 0 1 and another random variable y taking the value r y this is minus 10 0 10 with probability same 1 by 3 1 by 3 both has same mean mu x dash is equal to 0 mu y dash is equal to 0, but how we will distinguish these things. So, basically what is the difference between these two data? So, basically one actually a center all the values are close to 0 and another variable it is all values are uh, away from the most of the values like two values are away from the 0, one value is um, uh, 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 exactly equal to the mean. So, this measure actually this mu 2 mu 2 actually providing the expected value of the distance from the mean. So, that is why uh, uh, so this is the mu 1 dash actually mu 1 dash distance it is actually subtracting the mean you can see that and taking the average of the distance from the mean of this random variable. That is why uh, this variance actually so if you find variance of these two random variable then you can find. So, how you can find the variable? So, you need variance so you can uh, suppose you want to find sigma square x so then you have to find the expected values of x minus mu 1 dash whole square so but because mu 1 dash is nothing but zero in case of this random variable mu x dash uh, actually this is for the random variable x mu 1 dash zero so this is nothing but expected values of x square so expected value of x square how you will find expected value of x square is nothing but summation of x x k square p x of x k by the formula r a dot r row moments. So, this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but for this random variable it will be minus 1 whole square into 1 by 3 plus 0 square into 1 by 3 plus uh, the 1 square 
into 1 by 3. So, then your variance will be sigma square will be uh, this is 0, this is 1, 1 by 3, 1, 1 by 3. So, this is nothing but 2 by 3. So, then what will be the variance of y? Sigma square y. Sigma square will be expected values of y minus mu y dash whole square. Now, here also mean 0, this is nothing but expected values of y square. Now, expected values of y square, what is this? Summation of y k, p of y, y k. For, for this random variable y k, we know that y taking the value uh, this uh, 0 minus 10, 0, 10 with probability 1 by 3. So, this is nothing but minus 10 into 1 by 3 plus 0 into 1 by 3 plus 0 into uh, sorry this is square y, y square. So, y k square uh, p of y i k plus 1 by 3. So, into uh, plus 10 squ uh, square it will be square actually into 1 by 3. So, then what will be the value? This will be 0, this will be 100. So, 100 uh, plus 100 uh, then 2 into 100. So, 200 by 3. So, see that this variance is greater than this uh, variability here for x what we got 2 by 3. So, we got 2 by 3. So, basically this is the variance of x square. So, this variance actually providing the measure that how the uh, data are scattered around the center. So, you can find the mean of a random variable, but if you want to see that suppose uh, uh, in a uh, uh, suppose in a subject some set of students performed. So, now uh, we know the mean of this uh, result only average of the marks, but is it enough to understand that how it is actually uh, the uh, what are the other values are situated? Is it very concentrated around the average value or it is the highest value and lowest values are far away from the their average value? To understand that we have to find the variances of the random variable. So, that is why variance actually measure the uh, dispersion of the uh, dispersion of the data set uh, that random variable how it is dispersed is it, it is it is away from the center or it is very near to the center so that is why this variance is very important now we can find some uh, other example you can uh, do so uh, let us consider some other example we have discussed in the discrete cases so for example here one example so, this case we have already discussed this uniform random variable. Now, uh, okay, sorry, this is the one example we discussed. This is probably density function, or oh, this is density function. So, suppose discrete case, uh, this is cumulative distribution function, okay, sorry. So, uniform distribution already we discussed mean we found. So, I just want to find another other examples what we discussed. So, here another example. So, I think uh, now you can uh, find the mean uh, using the formula. So, let us do some important some of the result. Suppose we know the mean. So, some uh, result suppose x and y are two random variables x and two random variables x has some let x and y b to discrete random variable random variable. So, having probability mass functions p x x and p y y p x x and p y y. Now, okay. so if you write expected values of a constant suppose c for any random variable it can be. So, what will be the expected values of a constant random variable suppose let sorry. So, what is actually constant random variable? So, if we define a constant random variable x is a x is said to be a constant random variable constant random variable if it is taking one value only with probability 1 
probability of x equal to c is equal to 1 for some c belongs to a real number. So, then what will be the expected value of c? So, then so basically expected values we say x it is nothing but it is summation of by definition x k p x x k summation of x k x k p x of x k. So, x k is the what are the values it is taking. So, now x is a constant, constant random variable it is taking only c and with probability p x of c is 1. So, c into 1. So, this is nothing but c. So, that is why we denote constant random variable by constant. So, whenever we say expected value of 1, what is 1? So, it is nothing but you can see think that it is a constant random variable it is taking 1 with probability 1. So, it is nothing but 1. So, for any uh, real number expected value of c will be c. Now, let let uh, x be a random variable with suppose uh, with probability uh, suppose it is discrete then with probability mass function p x x. So, then 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 for any real number for any real number c belongs to r expected value of c into x it is nothing but c into expected value of x. How will prove that? So, let us find out what is. So, here your transformation is y is equal to c into x y is equal to g x g x this is nothing but c into x. Now, how we will find expected value of c x this is nothing but summation of expected value of g x here we have the formula this is summation of g of x k p x of x k. So, then what are the, the possible values of k? So, summation of k this is g of x k is nothing but g x is nothing but c x. So, this is c of x k p x of x k. Now, it is a constant. So, c into summation of k x k p x of x k. So, now th what is this? So, by definition this is nothing but expected value. So, this is c into expected value of x. So, that is why for any constant random uh, constant num uh, any constant expected value of c x equal to nothing but c into expected value of x. Okay. So, uh, so far now in the case of variability suppose if you con take consider let x be a so for continuous case also it can be shown so suppose x is a continuous random variable and then uh, it it has probability density function so x is continuous let x be a continuous random variable with probability density function f x x. So, then what will be the expected value of c x? So, expected value of c x is nothing but. So, here we will take this definition integration of g x f x x d x. So, it is nothing but expected value of g x basically. So, expected value of g x definition is expected value of minus into plus minus g x f x x d x. So, f x is equal to uh, c x. So, this is nothing but minus minus to plus and negative g x equal to c x we will put c x into f x x d x because c is a constant here c into minus minus to plus and negative x f x x d x. So, that is why c into what is this by definition this is nothing but c into expected value of x. Okay. Now, uh, what will be the change of variables uh, variability? So, just we are what we are doing whenever now another result is that if y is equal to c into x then sigma square y that means variance of y basically it will be c square into sigma square of x. So, that means c square into variance of x. How to prove that? So, let us find out the variance of y. So, by definition what is the variance of y? So, sigma square y 
that is variance of y definition is expected value of expected value of y minus mu y whole square. So, now if you take uh, y is equal to c x, so just be, just now we have shown that mu y become c into mu x. So, then this is equal to mu y is the mean of expected uh, mean of the random variable y which is equal to expected value of y is equal to uh, y is equal to c x minus mu y is because y is c x if you take expected value of y just now we have shown c into expected value of x which implies mu of y is equal to c into mu of x. So, that is why we write c x minus c into mu of x whole square. So, then this is nothing but if you take constant, so this is nothing but expected values, c will make outside take common and then outside then it will be c square into expected values of x minus mu x whole square. So, then uh, this is nothing but uh, then what is this? This is nothing but variance of x. So, this is nothing but c square into variance of x. So, these are the some of the uh, result we required. Uh, more general uh, it is exercise you can prove it. So, suppose let uh, x and y be two random variable random variable then you can consider both are uh, discrete random variable or both are continuous random variable then we can you can show that expected values of some uh, x plus y is equal to expected values of x plus expected values of y and expected values of c 1 x plus c 2 x uh, sorry uh, suppose let us write down in this way expected values of some a x plus b y this is equal to a into expected values of x plus b into expected values of y. So, it is like a linear transformation. So, you know that in linear algebra what is the definition of linear transformation. So, this function it is called a linear transformation from vector space v to some vector space w if uh, it preserves the uh, like this operations like uh, some v 1 and v 2 to vector and then alpha 1 and alpha 2 scalar. So, if you uh, do the operation this, so then it will be uh, uh, similarly uh, carry forward in the next vector space this operation. So, this is t into v 2. So, similar things it is happening here. So, that is why it is a linear transformation. So, that exercise you can try later on we will again discuss this. So, now uh, using this concept uh, we can simplify the variance formula because whenever you are computing the variance you need to subtract the all the values from the mean and then you have to take the computation you have to do the computation square of that then uh, you have to find the distance and so basically your variance formula is sigma x square is nothing but expected values of x minus the mean of the random variable mu x whole square. Now, uh, this is expected values of these things. Now, it is an a minus b whole square. So, this is nothing but expected values of uh, a minus b whole square if you write x square minus 2 x into mu x plus uh, mu x square. Note that mu x is a real number. So, mu x is uh, after doing the expected value it is nothing but a real number. So, now if you use, use this um, uh, exercise uh, if you uh, if you assume this is true. So, then it is a linear transformation. So, it will be nothing but expected value of x square minus expected value of 2 x into mu x uh, plus expected value of mu x square. But we have already shown that expected value of x square. So, it is expected value of x square minus see that 2 your mu x uh, these are constant. So, that is why expected value of c into x is c into expected value of x. So, that is why 2 into mu x into expected value of x plus it is a mu x square which is a constant mu x is a constant. So, this is nothing but mu x square. So, this is nothing but expected value of x square minus 2 into mu x. Now, what is expected value of x? This mu x is nothing but the, uh, the, the notation we are using for expected value of x. So, this is nothing but into mu x plus mu x square. 
So, this is nothing but expected value of x square minus 2 mu x square plus mu x square. So, if you simplify this thing expected value of x square uh, minus mu x square. So, if you uh, use the notation in the raw moments, if you remember that you used the raw moments notation, this is nothing but mu 2 dash and it is nothing but mu 1 dash whole square. So, mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. So, it is it, it will be whenever you are uh, using a data and you are computing the expected values, uh, then it will be easy to find because you just find the raw moments only, first order raw moments, second order raw moments, then you subtract it, then you will find the variance. So, let us do one example. Uh, 